Hi, we're here at 501 Fit slash 501 Spin with Andrea and her client Brad to hear another success story. Go ahead, Andrea. Thank you, Kim. Well, I'm excited to be here again, and we just finished this really hard real rider class, so that's why I'm dying and sweating. But um, this is Brad, and he has got a great story. He's a client of mine, and as you can see, he's doing great. Um, so I'm just going to start by asking him some questions and he's going to share his story. So Brad, why don't you tell me a little bit about before you and I met and before you got into fitness. Okay. Well, um, I never really was an active person. Um, growing up, I was kind of forced into sports. I never enjoyed working out. Um, so that was kind of how I started. In my 20s, I kind of overindulged, you know, going out, partying. Um, overeating, eating what I wanted, and um, I started to notice changes in my body as I neared 30. Um, so I kind of decided that I wanted to make some health changes um, because I noticed I was gaining weight that I wasn't losing. So at that time, were you, was there a certain weight you were at that was bothering you, or was it how your clothes fit, or what was it that actually drove you to think, wow, I really want to get into fitness? Um, it was everything. Um, the way my clothes fit, um, I actually kind of, my weight went up to 218 pounds, which is the most I've ever weighed. Um, growing up, I was always between 170, 185, fluctuating between those weights. So when I got up to 218, I felt really, really uncomfortable in my own skin. Mm -hmm. so. so how many years ago was that? Um, that was actually recently. Um, I started working out with Andrea in February, and at that point I was fluctuating between 216 and 218. Mm -hmm. And so, at that point, was it hard to transition into our fitness program together, or were you really ready? <laughs> um, I was really ready. <laughs> um, I think that um, it definitely took a lot of motivation on my part um, to actually stick with it. Um, but I was really concerned about my health, and I really wanted to get in shape, and um, I was really motivated, and you made it really easy. And um, she really covered everything. I mean, the workouts, the nutrition, um, she really got me involved in a lot of trying new exercises, like kickboxing, um, spin, of course. Um, so she really made it fun, and I think that's kind of what got me hooked. And I never would ever say that I was a person that really enjoyed working out, but I actually look forward to working out now. What I remember most is you came and said, I don't want to do any kind of boot camp hardcore workout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and here he is doing the real rider spinning class, which is a high calorie, high energy workout. And when he's with me, he does a lot of different methods, and including kettlebells, Pilates, um, TRX. These are all really difficult methods. So how much weight have you lost? Um, I'm about 192 or 193 now, so down from 218, so quite a bit. Um, I'm still not at my goal weight. My goal weight is 185, um, but um, I'm being persistent. I really, really want to lose that weight. <laughs> so what we do is we kind of work on things incrementally. What's the current thing that you and I are focusing on at this time? Um, well, right now, um, I'm really trying to focus on my cardio because I feel that that's the way I'm going to lose the weight. Um, this spin class, um, really has taken my, my cardio to the next level. Um, I currently spin three times a week, and um, this is definitely the hardest out of all of them, uh, the most challenging, and I would say probably the most fun. Um, I'm finding I'm plateauing in some of the other classes because this has challenged me so much, so. And then another thing that, that we're working on together is his nutrition. He's always been really good at nutrition, but I think we're starting to really get into more details and you know different kinds of styles, how to eat through the holidays and how to actually you know, lose weight through the holidays even though that's a challenge. So, and I agree, at 501 Spin, it is the greatest classes, toughest classes, and here he is, so. <laughs> and it's the most fun. <laughs> <laughs> we have a good time, that's for sure. Yeah. Is there anything else that you wanna tell people? Because he actually lives downtown here in Minneapolis, and what would you want to tell people in this area, in the Mill City area? Um, if you've never worked out before, um, take the plunge. I highly recommend getting a trainer. I think that's probably the best choice I ever made. Um, and stick with it. Um, I, like I said, I never consider myself an active person that would enjoy working out, but just stick with it, and eventually it comes. You enjoy 
that high you get from working out. And I love it. So just stick with it. It's awesome. Thanks, Brad. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and thank you, Andrea. And to anyone watching this video, if you notice it's a little shaky, that's <laughs> because I worked out with Andrea this afternoon, and my goal is to someday be able to get in a spin class and actually make it a full hour. And you are coming so. to the spin class here soon. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you.